In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to create a truth table using Microsoft Word. So our table will ultimately, at the end of the project, look something like this. So let's move this out of the way. So the way to go ahead and make a truth table is to first count the number of propositional letters and, and or operators you uh, want to create a table for. So in our case, we have four. We have the propositional letter P, the arrow, the sign for negation, and R. So what we'll do is go ahead and create a table. And we will want to count out the number of... We'll want to allot a column for each of the propositional letters and operators, and then an additional three. So what we'll do here is for each cell, let's go ahead and first put in uh, for the first two columns the propositional letters, skip a cell, and then type in the formula, putting a propositional letter and or operator into each cell. Next we'll want to create some additional spaces, and you can do this by using the tab function. Once you have enough to input the truth uh, values, you'll go ahead and put the appropriate truth values under the letters. So here we're writing TTFF for true, true, false, false, then true, false, true, false. And then one way you can quickly uh, go ahead and complete the truth table is to copy the truth values under P, select the cell, the cells that you want to input, and then paste them in. So here under R we have TF, TF, and we'll copy the uh, cells under the column for R, and then paste those in. The rest of the cells you'll have to use the, your, the truth value input as well, you know, as well as the corresponding truth functional rule in order to determine the move from the sort of operators with the least amount of scope to most amount of scope. So since R is true, not R is false. Since R is false, not R is true, false, true. And since uh, the antecedent of this conditional is true and its consequent is false, then we'll have uh, the whole conditional will be false, true, true, true. Now a way to clean this up is to select the whole table, right click, and then select auto fit. And what we'll do is auto fit to contents. And so this get, compacts the table so we have a nice clean looking table. So that's how you create a tooth table using Microsoft Word.